what a blessed day. Today is March 12th, 2024, at approximately 9.30 p.m. in the middle of the dark, dark in beautiful Lauderdale Lakes at the Altitude Water Factory. First off, above all, thank you, Lord, for bringing us here. It's an incredible journey to think nine months ago and three days we purchased this company back and a short three months after we announced a partnership with New Use Energy to be able to be sitting here after nine days of work having the team out from Washington State to build a state-of-the-art disaster relief trailer that is absolutely going to revolutionize how we handle disasters. And I'm going to tell you, we've been doing this for 14 years, from all the way back to tsunamis that, that hit uh, American Samoa, to all the way now where we were at the Maui wildfires. We know what happens during disasters. We know what the standard operating procedure is for FEMA and all of these organizations. What is it? It's to take cases upon cases, truckloads, container loads of bottled water and to ship it into the area that is creating, number one, filling an immediate need, yes, but number two, creating an ecological nightmare afterwards. We also know that there are tons and tons of generators that need to be shipped in. These diesel generators that burn all this fossil fuel, that stink up the place, make noise. That's the way disasters were handled. We have been so blessed to be able to partner with and to work with, number one, FootprintProject.org, a 501c3 who's been using trailers and solars. When they bought their first machine from Altitude Water, for some reason, thank you Lord again, I'm looking and I say, what an internet order from FootprintProject.org? To me that sounds like a nonprofit. I looked them up. And what is their mission statement? to green the most carbon intensive industry there is, the disaster relief industry. So what they said was, we need water with our electric. So they ordered a machine. And from there, we were heading to Maui to build our disaster relief trailer, which wonderful, great 501c3 Noah's Ark foresaw the minute that the wildfires happened they contacted us, and within three weeks to a month, we've got everything down there, and we built a disaster relief trailer. The first one for Altitude, a short six months after we brought the company back. When I say we, this is a team that has been together for 14 years building atmospheric water generators. We make the best atmospheric water generators. We're gonna show you in a second these running on nothing but the batteries and the inverter provided by our solar partner. So the first thing I'm going to show you of the, in the toolbox, in the disaster relief toolbox, is something that we showcased in the disaster expo at the Miami Convention Center at South Beach. But the Suncase 3651, which basically has 5 kilowatt hours of battery storage and 3.6 kilowatt inverter so one of the things that we did down at the show was we didn't order any electrical okay we brought our little baby with us we are the distributor for new use energy in, in, in Florida and on the East Coast but this machine is mobile 125 pounds on wheels and can sit here and run RT12 for eight hours without any input into it. That, I mean, that's incredible. We are making water without any plugs, no pipe, no plugs. 
That is when we combine two great technologies. Inverter, battery storage technology of new use energy. Now, you can take any PV and plug it into this unit and charge this unit. So we have on our website, which was part of the bundle that we're going to do, is the hex fold, which is it's six panels that, that fold out, that's on a tarp, and that will charge the 3651, the Suncase 3651, which will in turn run our water making machine. So we had police, emergency people could not believe. We had some of the board members of the largest disaster relief organizations come and say, wow, this booth is impressive from the fact that it absolutely gives the immediate needs without the carbon footprint. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the T12 dispensers. This has a 304 stainless steel. Right now, uh, it is going to, it's covered because uh, this is made for Hippocrates. And uh, I don't want to scratch it up for the shot, but it, it looks beautiful. Showing it running again on the trailer. Again, 77 degrees, 53% relative humidity out here. A little different from inside the trailer there. But here's the beauty. We drink this pure water out of wine glasses, but if you look, it almost looks carbonated. Look at that, all of those bubbles. What are those bubbles, you say? That is oxygen. You cannot get any more oxygen in this water. So we make not only the purest water, we have it mineralized, but because of our patented ozone purification systems, look at that. So we have poured it into a beautiful wine glass, which what we hand out here. Again, don't put this in plastic. This water is incredible. You drink it from a glass. That's what this is all about. So as I said, we have a, a computer. It's awesome right now. 71 degrees Fahrenheit, 71% relative humidity. Um, right now, it's telling you what it's doing. It's idle. Okay, so you don't hear anything. So it, Eric has just given us the power that we need. When this thing's running, we're running at what, about 4,700 watts, about 4.7 kilowatts. Uh, that's with everything running, lights and, and, and everything like that. Max is taken off. But it's something as simple as, okay, we have off, we have run, we have uh, economy, so we could set the, the humidity levels that it'll run at. We have drain and we have purge. All of those are for the filters. If you want to drain it or purge the filters, you have new filters on there. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to turn this, this baby on, run. And let me just show you a couple of other features which, which are awesome. Number one, this is the unit configuration, the history and trend, the settings, uh, and, and the schedule. So if we just want to go to the unit config, it's going to give us all the information that is running on this machine. The, the start, the ozone cycles, it's going to give us all the recirculation. So we're able to say, ah, we have fans coming on. Uh, about five minutes before the compressor comes on and we make water. So a lot of this is integrated that our awesome team. Eric, do we have an awesome team here at Alps Do Water? You, you work really you work with them uh, all this week. Uh, my team is incredible. So all of this is we can run this remotely. We can we have Wi-Fi capabilities on our board. So wherever this is, uh, we're, you're going to meet Carlos, who is awesome, who set up all of the uh, communications on on this trailer. But so, so we can know everything if, if you actually want to use this, that there's other water that you want to purify and use ozone, we'll have our ozone purification box. We'll also be able to increase ozone on this. So this is the configuration. We can show you the tank pressure, which right now we had made water before we drained it because we're going to be testing tomorrow. So right now there's no pressure on that. It's going to give us the evaporated temperature which right now is at uh, 47. Uh, it's gonna give you our current draw. Uh, the condenser temperature, which is the exhaust, which will be moved over here and exhaust, the discharge pressure, 
So, so we're giving basically how the HVAC system is running. One of the beautiful things as well is you'll be able to hit this and you're able to have all of the data, one hour, two hours, two days. But one of the nice things, you plug in a memory stick and you have all the graphs. We know exactly what this machine is making. So right now it just came on. We're gonna hit the little red there. It's gonna tell us it was 71 degrees as you saw, 71% relative humidity, 69% what the draw is. And again, you're gonna be able to see and chart exactly what the machine is making. All right, so here is, is a lot of the information, the tank pressure, the evaporator temperature, uh, what it's drawing. Uh, right now it's drawing 16.7 to, to 17 amps. Uh, the subcooling, the condenser temperatures, uh, the super, if we go all the way down, we also see the water filter life, how long the compressors run for maintenance, pump run hours on this pump, uh, pump number two run hours. So all of this information is stored, but not only that, like I said, we can go to history and trends and see exactly how it's operating. Read 71 degrees, 69% relative humidity, as you saw that before, but really go out and see how much water it's producing, how it is operating. So this is state-of-the-art stuff. This is, again, 72 degrees, 69% relative humidity. With three buttons, I can tell you everything and how this is, is operating. What I can also show you is right now, before it said idle, it's producing. In 20 minutes, you'll see producing an EnviroGuard. That's our patented ozone protection system. You also see recirculation. So we're recirculating and backflowing the filters. So many different things that over 15 years of building this incredible machine, the technology that's gone into it, we write our own code on the software so we control our technology. This is state of the art, but really fun stuff that saves lives. So I'm here with just one of the stars of, of New Use Energy who's really put everything together to be able to run our machines. Eric Youngren, we've just really enjoyed having you out here in, in Florida. We've had an awesome fun day. It's been great for me because he loves to jam some dead like I do. <laughs> when he sees me get stressed out, he knows to go in and, and put something on to, uh, to, to ease the stress for me. but. We've had a, we've had a good time, haven't we? It has been a good week or a week and a half. Yeah, yeah. Nine days, Thanks I think. Thanks so much for everything. It's been it's been a fun project. It's always an adventure to come out and build trailers on the customers' location. But uh, you got the full shop here. We had all the tools we needed, and we got it cranked out. We've got solar panels on the roof, and we've got all the power electronics up in the front and the batteries. There's 60 kilowatt hours of battery here. So enough to run this machine for 10 hours straight with no solar or generator going in. There's also a Honda generator mounted on the trailer tongue out, out in the front of the trailer. And that can recharge the battery and run the water generator at the same time. I, I think it's always important to realize, you know, people always say, you always got to have a backup plan. What yeah. happened, you know, solar isn't the end all be all. You integrate it with the battery storage yeah. and, and, and it's important to understand that because everyone thinks, well, you know, well no, you need a little bit of fossil fuel to, to be able to, when the sun is down, how are you going to charge it in a yeah. disaster situation? We got to have energy. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah, absolutely. In a disaster, you got to be able to run on all times and having a backup generator or a generator to provide the primary power is the way we do it. And the solar contributes and adds into the battery and the more solar add in. So as we talked about, you can add a tennis court full of solar panels and then the generator won't have to run at all. Right, we can, we can put the tents out. Uh, one of the things that we're also doing is they're, is they're going back uh, with, with our metal fabricator. We have, we're fabricating wings that, that are going to hold uh, PV as well and, and go up and 
want to show our, our wonderful uh, donors and, and um, uh, nonprofits that, that help fund this dream that, that I've had for 10 years. Uh, Mind Army and Legends, you guys are the best. Can't wait to have you here in, in videotaping it. But uh, go ahead, so go, go yeah, a little bit yeah. more. Well, I think we should fire it up. I have a, let's, let's make some water. Yeah, okay, I'll uh, go flip the breaker. Give me some up. power! All right, I'm gonna explain about the power system. The heart of the system is the inverter charger. This is a Solark 12 kilowatt hybrid inverter charger. So it can take the stored DC energy from the batteries and turn it into alternating current AC power to run the atmospheric water generator, as well as lights and we have accessory outlets for charging phones or other small devices uh, on the outside of the trailer. These are rack mount lithium iron phosphate batteries. Each one is five kilowatt hours. So there's 12 of them. So we have a combined total of 60 kilowatt hours, which is a lot of stored energy. We've got this double axle trailer for a reason because together these weigh about 1,200 pounds plus the generator, it, well, the atmospheric water generator and the Honda generator up on the front. So we are uh, pushing, well, no, we're not pushing the capacity, but we're gonna have water tanks as well. Um, the battery, the 40, they're 48 volt batteries. They feed to this inverter. And when the generator is running or it's plugged into the grid, it's a big charger. So it'll charge up the batteries so then it can run with uh, as up to 10 hours, we're estimating, on the big T100 atmosphere butter generator. We have an additional solar charge controller here with some disconnects inside this box that are for additional solar panels that can be mounted on something on the ground or in nearby structures to have more solar going into the batteries. But this Solar has solar charge controller inside as well and so all the onboard solar on the roof and the wings is coming through the solar here which is a really a, a great high quality device in the first place at the very left hand side we have the satellite internet connectivity with uh, Starlink which is the main provider for this community Wi-Fi trailer then we have a peplink router which will allow us to provide a, lo a long range Wi-Fi connectivity and provide service to those who most need it. Okay, we also have two antennas to provide the Wi-Fi. With these antennas, we, what we do is broadcast the Wi-Fi in maybe half mile range from the trailer so all the people who need it can be communicated who, to the people who they lo love the most so so impressive like i was really blown away with what carlos did i mean like i said a half a mile distance we i was like come back carlos you know do i have to send the car for you it was unbelievable the amount of service that we had so think about this someone comes to the disaster relief trailer their phone's dead because they've had no electricity right so they can use plug in charge their phone phone comes back up call mom i'm okay I'm safe, I know you saw the disaster on TV. Well, where's your brother? I don't know, I'm gonna look for him. Well, why don't you go on Facebook? Okay, I'll call you back, mom. Boom, hang up the phone, go on Facebook, mark herself safe and say, yo, bro, I'm here at this place at the disaster relief trailer. If you can see this on Facebook, come see me. So now what have we done? We've now added electric, water, and communications. The three things that were the most important thing in Maui is now all here so loved ones can let people know that they're okay. Because when those fires hit, 
The towers went down, no, no Wi-Fi, no cellular, no one could communicate to each other. And so we said, Carlos, what can you do for us? And Let's you something. You came with an incredible solution. And not only that, he works with Eric and doing all of the other things, putting the batteries together. But his specialty is communication. So, so new use has really brought the total team down here to Altitude Water, to Florida, to really work with us. And it's, it's been a pleasure, man. We've Thank done, you. You've done some incredible things. But I'm looking at you all the way down there, and I'm like, it's still working? Yep. <laughs> That's what the beauty is about our, our partnership. And I just sit here and look and say, wow, this is 10 years ago I wanted to do this, and this is incredible. And I got the best partners in the world uh, to work with. Uh, the, the owner is Ukrainian. He's been setting up solar systems in hospitals to save babies during this war. Go, go look at New Use Energy. Go look at their videos. Go look at doctors sitting there saying, I wouldn't have been able to do this if I didn't have this system from New Use Energy. So we have so many passionate people. Uh, I, I keep talking all night, but you know, we're all exhausted. Eric and Carlos have to catch flights tomorrow. Angel, thank you so much, brother. Eight years ago, uh, we fellowshiped together. He's a brother in Christ. He came out looking at, at things from Puerto Rico. He saw our machines eight years ago. He got to see all the upgrades and the things that we've been doing. Uh, he went to school for all, he does an incredible job. So he came all the way down from Jacksonville to Lauderdale Lakes to video all this for us. So he heard my excitement on the phone and he says, I gotta go down and see Jeff and, and, and see what's going on down there. So. Uh, we appreciate it, and we look forward to bringing you the most power, the best communications, but from altitude water, the best, purest water with technology licensed from Mother Nature.